Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to share with you um, these jelly plates. They're called gel printing plates. Um, a good friend of mine who is an artist, um, she introduced me to these and they're really, really fun. Um, something that I thought would be really neat to be able to add to your journals, um, whether as pages or use them for collage. Um, these were a few that I did um, <clears throat> with her and she has a lot of um, like stencils and stuff too and stamps you can use with these. So these were two of my favorite ones. So um, it was a lot of fun. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys and um, you know, some of them didn't turn out too great, but also um, one other thing whenever you are um, in the process of doing this, you use a uh, brayer. And so to get your paint off, you can use it on a piece of paper and you just roll it off. And so these you don't wanna throw away either because these make really cool uh, collage pages or I mean, you could use them for pages for your journal, whatever you want. So anyways, <clears throat> um, so yeah, so let's get started. So um, I got these at Michael's and they were, on sale, buy one, get one free. So I originally thought, well, I'm just gonna get the five by seven because that's what I use with her to work with. But um, they also had an eight by 10, which I was like, that's really cool because that can, you know, actually fit pretty much a whole sheet of paper. So um, I've not used either of these yet. I wanted to play with them with y'all for the first time. So um, <clears throat> anyways, let's get started. Um, so what you need for this is the jelly plate. You're going to need some paints, whatever colors you want. Um, you can use stamps. You're gonna need the brayer, <clears throat> um, some wet wipes, and then something to like rub over the um, paper once you get the paint down. So I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> So for now, let's just take these out and get started. I haven't even opened them yet. So super exciting. I'm really excited to try this. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now. I've had a cold, so hopefully <clears throat> my voice doesn't give out or I don't start having a coughing fit. So I have these two layers that you just peel off. You wanna save those aside. Um, the reason we have the baby wipes is going to be to actually clean um, our jelly plate with whenever we're done. All right, so this does not require a lot of paint. <clears throat> so, and this is just like, you know, paint you can get from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, the craft store, anywhere like that. So basically you want to just do three dots and um <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brayer and you're gonna start with the side and you're gonna roll up and back up and back then you're gonna go <clears throat> this way and you're gonna do the same thing so it's also <clears throat> taking the paint off as you do it but you want to make sure that you don't take all the paint off that you leave someone. Okay. <clears throat> so then on this scrap piece of paper, I'm gonna take and I'm just going to roll off my paint. So I have that. Okay. So we've got that layer of paint down. Now what I wanna try to do is I'm gonna take this stamp. This is just a stamp I think I probably got from I think Hobby Lobby. So anyways, and you can just make some designs. However you want to do it. This is also what you're going to need the wet wipes for. Is, um, you know, cleaning off your stamps. <clears throat> okay, so let's just try that now. Um, I'm going to use just... And I'm just using regular copy paper for this. Nothing, you know, 
fancy or anything. So I'm just going to take my paper and I'm going to lay it on top. Smooth it out. <clears throat> That's where my little cup thing is going to come into play. Now, if you do not have this, just you can use a cup or, you know, anything really with a flat surface, I would think. Um, this is just what I happen to have on hand. So I am going to use it. Make sure you get all around all the sides. All right, and then we will pull it up. This is the exciting part to see what we get. <clears throat> okay, cool. All right, so it turned out fine. Um, you can see the color. You can see the um, stamping inside of it. So that turned out really cool. So yeah, okay, so neat. So just set that to the side, let it dry, <clears throat> and you can use it in the future for whatever you want. So another idea that I had that I want to try um, one more, <coughs> excuse me, um, <clears throat> is I thought it would be cool to use like a dictionary page. Um, I have tons of these or any type of book page really I think would be neat to try this on so that's what I want to try on next and then we'll move to the 8x10 and um, see what that one's like so all right let's use this I'm gonna use this blue I'm gonna do the same technique back and forth Okay, and then I'm going to take my um, other paper. Now, this is a lighter color, so it doesn't show up too much. Okay, and to this, you know, I think I'm going to add <clears throat> another color. Let's add some, let's add some orange. Let's just see what this is going to do. All right. Y'all, I am still learning about this too, so um, <clears throat> I would enjoy if y'all have tips, tricks, anything um, that you would like to share with me about <clears throat> this technique. Totally open for it. <clears throat> but I am really excited to use these papers in my journals. So, okay, so I have some flower stamps, so let's just try and see what happens with that. <clears throat> let's see I'm going to use this sunflower just because those are my favorite and we will see what happens <clears throat> whenever you're stamping too remember you don't have to keep everything just on the page make things look like they're going off the page as it will give more interest all right, so now, make sure I'm in frame. <clears throat> I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and use this side because I really like this side with the pictures. This is from an old, like kids dictionary. <clears throat> so it is a little bit smaller piece of paper. Now I'm excited to see how this one turns out. All right, take my little, my little tool. <clears throat> Rub, 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 rub. All right, guys, let's see. I'm really excited about this one. Cool. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that came out cool. Um, and you can see some of the, the textures in it. Plus, it just, you know, gave a really cool effect to the dictionary page. All right. Awesome. Okay. So that is two in that side. So now to clean this, you're just going to use some, a baby wipe. <clears throat> Basically just wipe it down to get all of that ink off or um, paint that you use. Now I would think like some people have like those spray um, distress oxides and stuff. I would think you could totally use 
those <clears throat> for these kind of for this kind of project too. Like I said, I'm new to this, so um, <clears throat> this is I've never used any of that before, but I totally think you would be able to. All right, so next we're going to take the eight by ten. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay something underneath it. This one is packaged the exact same way <clears throat> with the two. I'm um, sorry, out of camera. So this one is really big. Oh my goodness. Okay, so cool. Okay. And this one, I'm gonna try a couple of, sorry, a couple of different sheets of paper. to see how this one goes. All right, I'm really excited about this because this would be really cool <clears throat> to be able to fit in a whole journal page. All right, let me see. Okay, <clears throat> I should have taken my um, plastic off my paint. Okay, so since this is a bigger one, I'm gonna assume that we need to add a little bit more paint. <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so this should be the same type of principle. Back and forth. Because you're basically just trying to get a smooth coat over your whole jelly plate. And you want to try to have, you know, your lines smooth. Of course, this does not by any means have to be perfect. Remember, I am the absolute least when it comes to perfection. So let me clean off my brayer. Look how cool my little piece of paper is coming. All right. So let's do, let's see, I'm going to go back with this stamp, do a couple, oh, that one kind of smudged, that's okay. Let's do this little flower. Now, if you have stencils, those are really cool to do too. Um, I personally don't really have any stencils, so... I'm not able to do that, but if you do have stencils, that would be a lot of fun. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, this first way is just going to be with a typical piece of um, copy paper. So we are going to carefully lay it down. It's just so cool to work with because you just never know what you're going to get. And if it's terrible, that's fine. Just wipe it off and do it again. Um, but I mean, don't throw stuff away because I do have a project coming up here soon where I'm going to be putting together my January um, journal and I'm going to incorporate some of these papers into the collage of the cover. So that will probably be one of the next videos that I do. All right, let's see. Now remember, this is gonna be close to the whole piece of paper. So, ooh, I love the color. Wow, that's really cool. Cool. And you know, it is really neat, like whenever you get the hang of it and you get to play in with, you know, different kind of colors, such as, um, you know, this one that I did these were a, a couple different colors and so that was really fun all right so there we have that one all right we're going to do one more together and we are going to try it on this ledger paper because i thought that would be fun and you know we like to 
mix those kind of um, things into our journals. <coughs> so with this eight by 10, it seemed like four dots of paint was good. All right, so I'm gonna start with this white. Actually, it's more of a cream color. And then I'm going to use my paper and get that off. Okay, now I think I'm going to add, let's do some of this orange. Maybe I won't add as much. Maybe we'll just do three dots and see <clears throat> what happens with that. Obviously, it may not cover all of it, but that might be okay. Like, this might totally give us a completely different cool effect. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll clean off my brayer. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So, I just have this piece of ledger paper. I had already folded it in half, but not a big deal. So, let's lay it down. Now this one, remember, I didn't do any um, stamping or anything on it. So let's see how it turns out. It's just like this has so many endless possibilities. So I really encourage you to look up on YouTube other people who use these. Um, I am, do not know that much about it. I'm really just getting started out with it. So I do encourage you to find videos and things if this is something that you want to get interested in doing. All right, let's peel it up and see what we have. Okay, cool. Ooh, I really like this. Neat. All right, so that came out really neat with the two different colors and you can still see the lines and everything behind it. That's really cool. All right, so that was really fun. So, and then this is what my, after uh, using my brayer, what that came out to be. So that's gonna be really fun to use in journals too. All right, guys, well, I hope this gave you some new inspiration of something fun to use to try out in your journals. And um, until next time, we'll see y'all soon. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.